Okay, Wednesday morning in the kingdom. We don't know if there's going to be a beer truck today because Johnny's still on holidays. It must be nice to have a credit card that's that good. Oh, my. I know if I went on a holiday, I wouldn't get very far. Maybe the next town over, Grief Rapids, and then my credit card would be declined. Just like it is at Daisy Maid's Escort. I mean, at 1-800-BAMBI when I phone it in. Oh, well. She only loves me when my credit card is good. All right. So this morning, okay, plus 10 Celsius, but feels like plus 9. It's all lies, okay? We've had these same morning temperatures for the last week. It's warm. It's cold, okay? Today is a chilly plus 10, all right? The other day, it was a warm plus 8 or 9. Like, it was warm. Like, I, I was starting to sweat holding the stick here at my age, you know? Okay. On the yo-yo scale... Plus 50, but feels like 48. Okay, I got a 48 Chevy sedan delivery and a 1950 cat. Oh, I hate cat. All right, so yesterday was a boring day in the kingdom, and that video slideshow worked out pretty good. I like the comments, the interactions, and I'm understanding, you know, because people live where there's no snow, so you have to explain what it's like to freeze to death. You know, and yet they can take the heat, not like us. Ooh, there's a slight breeze. I put the Lily Tomlin mic right up close to my lips. So hopefully we don't have, uh, how would you say, wind noise. But I'll know once I edit the video here. And then I'll curse and swear because I did it, screwed it up. Okay, yesterday was a boring day. The staff and I filled five totes up. So we got five more lined up, ready to be filled. The wood pallets are gone. Yes, look at how clean it is. And down at the loading ramp over there, it's all clean. Anything down there is firewood or scrap metal. For the first time, uh, well, long before I came, because it was a mess when I took it over, what, 27 years ago or whatever? Yeah. So for the first time, it's clean. So when I'm dead and gone, the scrap guys can show up and take the the pile right and not mix in the cat parts and stuff like that oh yeah ih cat parts so there's no confusion it'll be easy for the staff to figure it out okay all right so over here all right oh well we better do the sunshine first look at how high he is oh a little slight smoke in the sky oh there he is right there beside my big head all right let's scroll this way I'm not sure what we're doing for wind noise. I'm going directly into the wind like Les Nessman on location. It's windy out here. Okay. All right. Oops. Where is it? I don't know. Oh, there we go. Okay. Now with the mic so close to my lips, you can hear me burp. I got to find something different than peanut butter. I've tried the diet peanut butter. Maybe I should get real peanut butter, because I imagine that peanut butter they make is all chemicals. Yes, in the world today, nothing is natural. Not even boobies, because they get breast implants. Oops, I shouldn't talk about that. All right. Okay, we got the skids from the hangman there up at the shop door. I ordered plasma tips, okay? So you never go till you run out. You always have to keep inventory like in the beer fridge. You never go to the last one. So I was saving two plasma tips and then we ordered off of Amazon. Yes, I take my Amazon book money and give it back in the forms of purchasing. Yes, pretty smart thinking, right? All right. So those beams are up there, so I'm going to use a brand new tip, and I'm going to cut them into Lombard sleigh bunks. Yes, Lombard. So that way we can put these tanks up on more sleighs, right? So I want to get these beams cut up and put on a pallet so they're easier to move around. Yes, then trying to drag out the beam in the snow, fight in the snow, measure in the snow, mark it in the snow, cut it in the snow, but... There'll be no sand flies, yes. Oh, yesterday they took me out psychologically. I had to drink vodka to re regroup, eh? Because the old brain was just fried, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we were talking about Tommy Chong yesterday. Oh, how appropriate. But them sand flies were bad. They're not bad today because it's chilly. They can't fly with their uh, sweaters on, eh? So that's okay. All right. But that's the project today is to cut up that. And also, too, we put the big fenders on the monster, I mean, oh, 
to 41 Chevy 4x4. We put the big tires on, so now the tires hit the fenders, okay? So we can't haul firewood, so we're going to have to do some modifications there with the piece of shit plasma cutter. Yes, this is going rather well. All right, it better go. The boss is coming. Also, too, yesterday we uh, cut up the canopy roof thing, and the guy uh, did a terrible job welding it. He worked at the mine, so it fell apart really easy. These sheets of steel, they got tar on them, they were booger welded, so I just flipped and flipped and flipped with the loader till they fell apart. All right, let's check on the flag exercise, seems how it's a breeze. Oh, look at him go. And Sir Rodney's going to surprise us here next week, hopefully. Okay, I got my back to the wind in theory. The sand flies are out of my face for a few minutes, just like the ex-wife. They're probably getting a better lawyer or something. All right, these are the beams for the hangman. I painted two stripes on. The can says white. It looks white to me being colorblind. The two stripes mean that these beams can go back together. See, the beams here are angled at each end. I need four pieces at 67 inches long. So in theory, you grab one beam, cut it, cut it, cut it, until there's no beam left, and then you cut the second one. But in my lifestyle, we reuse everything. So if I cut the centers out at 67 inches, so that's four of them, then these two beams can be welded back together. That's why the two stripes on this side and we have the two one stripe on this side. I didn't say the word okay. Okay is a volume test on when I edit the videos because I use the word okay all the time because the Lily Tomlin mic is in different positions in my face or whatever so it picks up different sounds. So I try and get the volume all correct on the videos. Not like when the TV puts the commercials on at high volume and your regular show the booby, movies with boobies at a lower volume so you're awake when the commercial comes on. All right, so I pre-drilled all the holes here. All right, I I've pre-drilled six of them and it's not my lucky day. I don't want the drill to go right into the web, okay? I want the drill hole to miss the web just by a bit so the plasma cutter, being a piece of shit, can get started. So I've just drilled six holes into the web by about an inch and a half, okay? This is not good. So knowing my luck, a local lady will show up tonight and she won't have matching undies, so it'll be officially my lucky day. Okay, we got the first cuts done, no problem. But seeing how this is Wilderness, Alaska, located in Northern Manitoba, we're only running the air compressor for the plasma cutter when we're plasma cutting. Yes, because I don't want to listen to the sound of that three cylinder air compressor filling the two big air tanks. Okay, back over here. Seems how the plasma cutter is a piece of shit. You can tell. Okay, right here where the or the cable grabs on something. It's not very flexible. It's like it's cold. It's via on Viagra or whatever. So we're doing good. So that would be the hose of the cable getting caught so that it wasn't had it braced properly. And then over here. I sped up or my travel wasn't good enough, so he got blowback or whatever, wasn't cutting right through. But as you can see, this cut here has the jiggly wigglies, okay? All right, being a professional drinker and being old, I have the morning shakes, okay? So that's the best time to do the cutting of the, with the plasma cutter. Seems how we're doing the cuts on this material that is, what, two times thicker than what it's rated for, okay? So having a little bit of movement on the nozzle or the laser, that works out really good for blowing through, okay? Also too, at my age, I set the pallets up. So when I cut this one right here, I was sitting right here. When I cut this one, I was sitting right here. And then over here, when I cut that one, I was sitting over here. So that's the joys of getting old. You think about your body and relaxing so you can sit and enjoy the cutting. Okay, back in my younger day, I'd manhandle these big beams around, flip them around, flip them over, flip them again. But now it, I'm getting old, so we take them off the pallets here, because anything goes wrong, they're going to land against the work table or the piece of shit plasma cutter. The last thing I want is the piece of shit plasma cutter to end qu uh, its life quickly. So we break them, lift them up, back them up, lay them down, and then use the mini hoe with a lot of talent and flip the beams around or move them around. That's the safest way to do it. That way we're at the end of the day, we can drink some beer. We're not sitting in downtown Winnipeg, 1200 kilometers away in the emergency ward, waiting for the good drugs to be administrated. 
Okay, that did not take long. And one thing nice about the piece of shit plasma cutter, it does not cut all the way through. For safety, the beams aren't falling apart as I was cutting them, right? So I had to flip them off with a mini hoe and they broke apart. So that works out good. No sand flies today because I think it's a little too windy for them to fly. Okay, that was three hours of my life wasted. I mean, well spent because three hours working out in the sun and the wind with no snow, this would have been an eight hour job in the winter. Yes, probably a two day job because you start it one day and then finish it the next. Best thing I ever bought uh, back 30 years ago was the plate clamp for moving plates around, but it hooks on nice onto the beams here. Okay, we live in the great white north where we have snow 10 months of the year. So you're right on the top so you can see what they're for. And you're right on the side so you can see the top, what's, uh, what they are because when the top is covered with snow. All right, so that's for lumbar sleighs three and four. And then over here, the sleigh, or beam ends that are tapered can be welded back together to make a skid at a later date. So now that'll go down to the steel pile and be marked and ready for the next time I need them. Okay, last night me and the mosquitoes, the sand flies, and everybody was involved. We decided to get all the pallets out from underneath this van trailer. Because 15 years ago, drunk me decided it was a great place to put all the cat parts, wood pieces, and everything like that. But now, what happens if we have a forest fire, and we have fire running along the ground, down with all these rotten pallets under here, which is prime uh, fuel for a fire to burn. Plus, let's get all the cat parts and everything like that located in one location. Plus, if we go to move this trailer, after I die, it's a lot easier to hook onto and move than having to dig out everything out from underneath of it. Okay, here's some of the items that was under the trailer. So it makes more sense to put them up on the boat docks there without the pallets. And we have the pallets we can use for firewood because they're kind of rotten but not rotten enough, but they'll work good in the wood stove for burning. So having all the cat parts in one place makes good sense in my eyes. Okay, back 15 years ago, I bought four of these big timbers, 10 by 10 by 9 feet, I think they are, and it was about $1,000. So I kept them in storage under a canopy, and then in 2019, uh, we painted them, because we had extra paint, and it was the end of the season, so we just slapped the paint on. And then last December, we needed a set of bunks for the wooden deck slayer, or whatever. So if I'm sober enough tonight when I make this video, I'll include a link in the end screen on where that uh, video is. But we waited till it was 40 below to drill little pilot holes for the swivel bunks to make them swivel. So it's a two inch hole. So I decided I'm not going to move these bunks around anymore. We're going to drill a hole or attempt to drill a hole on a warm day and then put them over here on the Lombard wooden sleighs over there. That way we're only moving them one more time after 15 years. They can go on those wooden lumbar sleighs there, then they can go in the shop this winter to get the end plates and everything put on. So today's project is gonna to attempt to drill a hole and I'm gonna be better than my father and actually finish a project. Okay, now I know why the old timers drilled all the holes and everything in the winter when the wood was solid. Cause this is a struggle. All I'm getting is little chips out and everything like that. I don't have the proper woodworking tools and I'm not going to buy them for the amount of wood that we're doing. But it's going good. We will get it done. It will be a struggle. Okay, we got it. Took a little longer and my only regret last winter, which was five months ago, I should have dragged these two beams out and drilled the hole too. I was thinking of that, but I don't know what I was thinking. I thought I'd never be using these wooden timbers or swivel bunks in the future for, you know, in this lifetime or five or six years from now. So here I am five months later drilling a hole in the heat without the sand flies. So we did pretty good. The holes did line up, which is not that bad considering the rotation of the earth and everything else involved. Okay, the wind is bad and I greased the holes up with grease that we don't use. Because we always order grease and it comes wrong or whatever. It's whatever they had on stock so they don't get what we want. But we always have that grease. So I used the stick and wiped it in the hole and then I put the pins in. These are the wrong pin size, but that's what I have. We'll change it out later. The main thing today is to get these wooden bunks, the swivel bunks, onto the lumbards over there. And so we don't have to move this wood any more time after 15 years. So now we can spend 16 years for the next year, which will make 16, actually on a sleigh for the first time. All right, let's get back to work. Okay, that didn't take long to set on. It worked out good and it looks good. All wooden bunks and everything. 
But in the winter, I can put the steel plates onto the swivel bunks and it'll look pretty, just like the other ones. Okay, five o'clock in the kingdom. Now we can do the fun projects because the boss is an asshole and he's gone home. All right. So the box on the 41 Chevy 4x4 was on the pink crew cap. So the wheels don't fit and line up with the holes. These tires are too big. We marked it out last uh, winter, but we never cut it because we didn't have the big wheels on. So now I've looked at the measurements and everything. It looks good enough. So let's cut it and get some tire room. Then we can go have some fun. Okay, we got it cut out and I've had enough for today. This wind is unreal. It's just unreal. It just drains you right out. I'm trying to walk and talk. But the wheel wells have to be filled in in the box here. That shouldn't take long. All right, let's put the tools away and we'll check on the flag of exercise. Just look at him go. And according to Facebook memories, it was raining and wet for the last three years and we were trying to organize stuff around the yard and we were getting stuck. But oh, well, it's dry here now. All right, let's go walk the dogs, drink some beer and make a video. Talk to you later.